Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network. This is Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer. If it's a car, motorcycle, boat, or anything else with an engine in San Diego, it's on Racer Radio. Now, here's your host, Dave Stahl. Hey folks, hey, welcome back. You're listening to Racer, Racer Radio. Radio. Right here on AM 1170. The answer. Uh, this segment is brought to you by the good folks at San Diego Carburetor and Fuel Injection. If you're looking to get your car back in top-notch condition, San Diego Carburetor and Fuel Injection is the guys for you. Put your headphones back on. <laughs> so, check them out. SDCarb.com, SDCarb.com. All right. I don't know who we got on the line, but somebody's I bet calling? if somebody starts talking, who are you, caller? Hi there, Dave. This is uh, Cody Nye. I oh. was told to call in by the dirt dude. <laughs> yeah, well, you are definitely, we've been waiting for you. How you doing, buddy? Oh, no complaints here. Just another beautiful Sunday up here in uh, old Camarillo, California. Good How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Uh, we were at uh, Barona last uh, Saturday. And actually, Michelle got to see you uh, take a pretty nice win last week. Yeah, we uh, we had a good time up there. You know, this was uh, it was our first uh, ever win with the Lightning Sprint, so uh, we were really stoked about that. So it was my first time ever racing at Verona, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really looking forward to going back there a couple times here later this year. So, what did you think of the track? Because I'm going to tell you, the Salazars put a ton of work and a ton of clay into that track and they have been massaging it massaging it and massaging it and you go travel a lot of different tracks how did that compare to some of the other tracks you run i'll tell you what it was actually a really technical track it was a track that you really had to be disciplined Mm. and you really had to pay attention to hit your marks um you know especially once i got out front there i had i knew i had a jared kramer on my butt so I knew uh, <laughs> he is. I had to really hit my mark. So uh, it was it was really uh, surprising. The feature really turned out really uh, really racy. Um, you could go and pass up high, down low on both ends of the track. So I don't know. I think we had a great time, and uh, I think we put on a pretty good race for the fans. Oh, oh for you sure. put on an awesome <laughs> race. Are you kidding? Yeah. But you know the whole key to what you do. If it's not fun, what's the point, right? Absolutely. You know. Uh, my good buddy and sponsor Corey Cruzman says this is the most fun you can do uh, standing up, so or sitting down. So. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Funny you mention. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, it's funny you mention this. I don't know if you know this, Cody, but uh, I had uh, Corey on and we were chatting, and I must have caught him in a soft spot. So Michelle, my co-host, is going to go up and take the Corey Cruzman driving experience on July eighth. Yep. And she's wow. never she's never driven anything faster than a Mazda Miata. What do you think? Oh well, you know, that's not really true. But, <laughs> but it's I, a lot of horsepower. It's going to be the most horsepower I've ever had under my feet. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I'll tell you what, I think you're going to have a great time. That's what I keep telling her. So I don't know. You probably don't know too many of the Barona folks, but there's a young lady there. She's a school teacher by trade, number thirty seven in the Dwarf Car Series. And I'm taking. Okay. I, I spent the money for her to go. Corey was nice enough to comp Michelle, so I paid for Brittany. So at least the two girls can go up, and that way Michelle's got somebody that she can talk to. And but anybody that calls in, if they've been to the Corey School, and don't you agree? If you were even mildly thinking about you know being competitive in the Lightning Sprints or IMCA Modifieds or any of those divisions. Corey Cruzman's class is well worth taking? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I was pretty lucky enough, you know, uh, my dad has been Corey's crew chief for the last 25 years or so um, in his sprint car and midget uh, ventures. So I, I got pretty lucky to get kind of raised on the knee of one of the greatest dirt drivers in, in the country. Yeah, the uh, greatest, so, absolutely. And uh, so, like I say, I, I've just been really fortunate to have his watchful eye to – point out a few things for me, uh, get us pointed in the right direction. And I can tell you, you know, I, I think that, you know, our success is 
absolutely, we wouldn't be where we are now without the help and guidance of Corey's uh, Corey and his school. Right. Uh, he's got great folks there. Ventura is a great fun track and. I think you guys will really enjoy yourselves up there. Well, and that's what I try to tell Michelle. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Just drive within your limits, you know, and Corey and the team there will walk you through it. You know, they're not there to scare you or or get you out of a car. They're there to hopefully get you hooked so you'll go buy a car, you know. So, and the only way that happens, right, is to have fun in it. And if you're having fun in it, it's easy. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly it. I mean, we're all here to have fun. You know, we yeah. can we can all get mad at each other and get frustrated oh, with yeah. uh, our competitors and stuff. But you know, at the end of the day, we still got to go to work on Monday morning. So, <laughs> you know, if we're not having fun, we're spending a good bit of money to go out here and not have fun. So, if we're doing that and not having fun. We'd be better off going off to the lake or something. Right. Well, you know, the only one I'm really worried about on July eighth, it's not Michelle, it's Brittany. Because she's already got the, you know, the dwarf car disease. I mean, we tried to walk walk up and just talk to her one day when she was getting in the pits. And she was like, get away from oh, me. I'm focusing. Oh, my gosh. She was so focused. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. So I told Michelle, I says, you know, once this girl does a Corey Cruzman, you know, she's going to end up selling her dwarf car. Oh, yeah. She's going to move up. Yeah, it's already. I, I, I mean, I'm sure she already has a for sale sign made up. Because I think once she climbs behind the wheel of, of uh, one of Corey's class cars, and a lot of people don't realize that the cars you drive in the class, correct me if I'm wrong, are the same cars you could rent and go race against some guy by the name of Cody Nye. Yeah. Uh, there's a, it's, it's a similar. Corey offers uh, his Nautilink Sprint car, which is a 360 cubic inch engine. Uh, he's got uh, Ford Focus Midgets, which are very similar to our mini sprints that we run. And then I think he's also got something really cool out there, the R1DT Yamaha short track car that a Yamaha's looking to get going. So I heard about uh, that. Yeah. They it, had him out at Paris. A lot of stuff there. I think yeah. they showed yeah. they had a little exposition of him uh, when we were there for 4th of July last yeah. year. I well, think. remind me, because I told Corey that if he hooked up Michelle, I'd, I'd put his his school and the cars on TV that he's just got to come to San Diego. So Mm -hmm. if you want to come down with him and display and show off, you're more than welcome to, too. Hey, before we get you to the tail end of the show, let's talk about some of the people that get you to the racetrack. Who's on the side of your car? Well, first of all, obviously, as I mentioned, Corey Cruzman Sprint Car Driving School has been our biggest supporter for, you know, my entire racing career, starting Mm -hmm. with uh, go-karts and the SoCal Oval Carters. So Corey's just been a huge help uh, along the way. Uh, we have Pinky's Tire Service out here in Ventura, California. We've got uh, No Limit Powder Coating, my good buddy Steve Hicks. Uh, we've got Steve Schnars, Photo by Schnarzy. He's a good friend of ours. Uh, Steeda.com, No Limit Powder Coating. Um, driven to Save Lives, that's something that's really important to me. They're an uh, organization that, uh, that encourages people to register to become organ donors in honor of Brian Clausen. So, oh, very uh, good. Sure yeah, that's a cause that's near and dear to my heart. So anyone out there wants to go to driven to save lives.org, you can register your donation decision and, uh, you know, join a really cool movement. We'll put that on our racer radio, Facebook page okay. and, and Michelle, will put it on carcentric.net and we'll see if we can. And you know what? There's a perfect, if you don't mind coming to San Diego, do a little staycation, get come down on a Friday <laughs> night, bring the race car, and then I'll put you on TV on a Saturday morning, and it's number one watch morning show, and then the, re- the, 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 the viewership is off the charts. And you can talk about that program alone if you want. I'm more than happy to do you that know, for you. It's funny, Dave. I've actually – you and I have met before. I did a, a thing for you uh, down about two and a half years ago for the SoCal Oval Carters. I uh, thought your- the name looked familiar. Yeah. Yeah, we had one of uh, – a couple of our guys bring carts out, and I think uh, your weatherman down there – Took a turn and on on air. I thought that was a good. Oh, time. Was that was that Dave? <laughs> Scott? No, it wasn't Dave Scott. It was Dan Plant. Oh, Dan Plant. And Dan Plant, love. Oh yeah, he has not stopped talking. About it. Well, hey, then you know what kind of response it gets if you're willing to come down again and talk about your program. I would be more than happy. In fact, honored to uh, to put you on. 
I'll tell you what, I can't make any promises of getting a couple laps in in, in the car, but uh, we'll certainly see if we can't fit that in our schedule. So uh, no, I don't want any laps. I just want you to. He's not working mornings anymore anyway. We we put him out to pasture. He's working nights. But no, come on down. You know, maybe you're coming. Maybe the next time you're coming to Barona. Absolutely, oh, yeah. we got uh, two more races yeah. there this year. That's and, right, uh, August twenty fifth. And then October 20th, the California Lightning Sprints will go back down to Barona, and uh, I'm going to have to defend my crown there. So Yes, you there. do. you got to do we'll it. you guys out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we'll be there. And by the way, we're six for seven. When people call in prior to a race they want to win, they win. I'm just saying. Oh, jeez. I know. All right. Well, hey, and, we got, and, we've, and we've got some Racer Radio stickers for you. So when you're up at Barone, next time we see you, we'll, we'll definitely give you some stickers you can slap on the car and, you know, tell people you've been on radio. And it, like I said, it's a good it's a good catch when you're trying to raise money for either a causes or for your sponsorship package. Radio and TV is in your pocket. All you got to do is just let me know, and I'm here. we're here to help you. You got it, Dave. I appreciate the offer. All right. Well, hey, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We're going to take a small break. When we come back, the boys from Barone are going to be calling in right here on AM 1170. The answer. This segment is yes. brought to you by Barona Circle Track. Barona Speedway, I'm telling you folks, they have done so much to that track that attendance is starting to go off the chart. Is mm-hmm. that a problem? Not really. Uh, no, we Not can really. barely find parking. Uh, at <laughs> you know what? I drove Last in week. at 8 o'clock. I pulled right in, right close to the gate. Well, I didn't you have know any, where any problem go. at all. I no, I did told, not. Go I left, was... go right, go left, and then make another right, and then you'll find parking Dude, under the I tree. I was so lost. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Barona Circle Track, BaronaSpeedway.com. Did you hear Sheldon Creed won uh, yesterday? No. I think that's one of his first wins. Cool. I'm pretty sure it's in the ARCA race. I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure because that's not Xfinity. It was in the ARCA race, which that was really awesome. And then if you happen to go out to the fair, go over to the little arena where all the dirt racing is and check out Racers Against Drugs. Yeah, they have a booth there at the fair. Uh, Racers Against Drugs is is uh, they have chapters all over the place, but the the booth there at the fair is organized by people who are uh, involved with the Barona racetrack. And if you want to go there and give you know Brittany a lot of static and give her harassment, make jump on top of her car. No, I'm mm. kidding. June twenty seventh, she'll <laughs> be there with bells on. You gonna come down June twenty seventh so you can go say hi to her? Sure. Okay. Yeah. No problem at all. Yeah. yeah, so so make sure you work on um, get in touch with Chevrolet. So because Zach Veach uh, is a Chevrolet driver in the IndyCar series, mm. and the other uh, rookie who is a Chevy driver um, that we were talking about last week, love to get him on the show too. Can't remember his name now. Mm. Lots of rookies, and I'm glad to see it too. By the way, because mm-hmm. we've got to keep it going. Oh no, I'm I'm right there. I'm but it was right kind of sad that the Texas audience, um, there there were a fair amount of empty seats. Uh, yeah, for last night's race. All right, well let's go ahead and take a quick break. Ah, oh, there's Alyssa Smith. Oh, she's right there. So she called in at three thirty instead yeah. of three fifteen. Well, Scott hasn't called in yet. So and well, we could have Scott go to three forty five if well, he does call in. What we might want to do. No, she is calling in at three. She's the she's the one. She's calling. the three forty five. Yeah, no, she's the three thirty. So we're golden. We don't know what we're talking about. She's calling in for from Irwindale or uh, from Paris Auto. From Street. Paris. Yeah. So let's take a quick break Got and let's it. talk to Alyssa. Alyssa Smith. Ah, uh, right here on AM eleven seventy. The answer. Power on. Power on.
Alicia Smith right here on AM 1170. I had to take my headphones off. 1170, the answer. <laughs> That's because I was controlling the volume. He and you blew did. my ears off. I did it intentionally. <sighs> Alicia, how are you today, dear? Hi. Hi, Alyssa. How'd you like that intro music? That was for you. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I thought you would enjoy it. So, uh, so Alyssa is a champ. Yes, she is. She was on the podium. Yes, she was. So tell us all about it. How'd you get there? Um, last night I finished fourth and, um, it's been a struggle lately starting this new class, but I started 10th and I finished fourth out of 18 cars. And so I was pretty happy. Yeah. What, what class, what class, what new class are you running? Street stocks. Oh, and you came out of? Factory stocks. Is there that big of a difference, you think, between the two? Um, I didn't think so, but now that I switched, yeah, I feel there is way better drivers and way different driving styles. Oh, uh, competition gets a little stiffer is what you're saying. Definitely. But that's going to be good for you, and I mean, you got to be thrilled. Started 10th, yeah. finished 4th. Right. Holy yeah. mackerel. Definitely learning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Where how have many, we heard that before? Yeah, right, right. We've heard that. How many um how many street stocks races have you had so far this season? Um, this season I probably raced I think like six to eight around there. Oh good. So okay, so you've had got a, a good number under your belt oh, yeah, already. Yeah. Well she's old. Yeah. She is old. I mean she's been she, I mean she's an old girl. How old are you? 16. Yeah. She told you she's no, old. 16 years oh, old. She's old. No, she's not quite over the hill, but she's up there. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Well, yeah, so if you keep moving up, is this your best result so far, the fourth place? Um, The first race I ever raced in my street stock, I finished. I actually won, but there was only like six cars out there. Duh, six cars is six cars. Yeah, so say it don't matter to but, me. Holy, yeah, see, but see. Yeah, in the regular season, this is the best finish. See, right. you just, that first win, boy, you just got hooked big time, see? <laughs> Once you win, I mean, you got to admit, there's nothing better than winning, right? Of course. God, it's just like a <laughs> disease. It's the worst disease. Well, we're happy for you. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, would you say every race is, is kind of a learning experience for you since you've only really done a small amount of races? Yeah, definitely. Right now, I'm just trying to get driving time and trying to learn my car as best as I can. Yeah. And, yeah, trying to stay smooth. and. Right. Well, it, and also the communication between you and your crew chief, because, you know, a lot you probably didn't realize it as much even in the, even in the last division, but even tire pressure could cause yeah, you all, a lot. Cause all kinds yeah. of headaches. For sure. Everything has to be perfect. and But my dad definitely helps out a lot. He does pretty much everything, and he always has, like, the best of the best to help me. So mm-hmm. oh, That's great. Does he keep yeah, I think I have enough for that. Mm-hmm. Does he stay nice, calm, and cool, and collected throughout the whole race? Uh, he tries to. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Well, hey, he was <laughs> racing, too, though. I he, know. He was uh, in the super yeah. stocks in the main, right? Yeah. Yeah, he got second. Uh, See, he's just nervous. You're yeah. gonna, you, he's just nervous you're going to come up and beat him. That's what he's nervous about. <laughs> he's like, stay in your own class. Yeah, don't be coming up here in my class. You just stay down there. <laughs> so uh, how, how long have you been racing? Um, and I raced factory socks for two seasons. Okay. And then before that, I raced mini sprint cars till I was like 10. And then, or until I was like 11. Mm -hmm. And then before that, I raced dirt bikes, like speedway bikes. Jesus. (laughs) What? And you've been loving every minute of it? Yes. Definitely racing is in my blood. (laughs) So what's, what are your goals and aspirations? What do you, what do you want? What, what would, what would be your dream if it came true in the motorsports uh, world? Um, I really want to race a modified and just travel to different tracks. Okay. Yeah. So nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you the the racer radio rule number one: stay away from boys. That's his rule. <laughs> That's right. my rule. And, uh, when you make it to the big time and you win a division championship, 
It could be at Paris. I'm okay with it. Once you do that, then you can have a boyfriend. <laughs> what are you laughing at, boy? Uh, Aren't you glad I'm not your dad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. Well, I've lost so many talented girls. You know, they just get all starry-eyed and some guy with a, you know, geez, I don't know what you guys. With a nice late model or something. Yeah, well, no, that, that's okay, too. <laughs> So, I know. But anyway, I just had to throw it out there. I can tell if your dad and your mom are in the background. They're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to that guy. He knows <laughs> what he's he does about. say that to the guys, too. I do. Stay away from the girls. If you want to get a career, <laughs> God. And those, and that's even career worse. Career first. Kurt, there you go. Career first. Well, that's what my mom always told me. That's right. So, how you, got, do, how you doing in school? Probably you're excellent, right? Good. I knew you would. Yeah, I have to keep my grades up and everything to race, so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. See? Her dad knows what and he's doing. I also I also play softball, so grades have to stay up for that, too. That's yeah. right. So you're in good condition. See, that's because a lot of people don't realize how, how draining driving a race car is. I mean, when you get out of the race yeah. car, if you weren't in good shape from baseball, I bet you it would be a tougher it would be a tougher thing to do. Don't you agree? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Because you practice, what, baseball, what, two or three, four days a week? If not. Yeah, depending on what it's for. Like yeah. um, high school, we practice every day. So right, There you go. Definitely a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, who's uh, who's helping you pay the bills on the side of the race car? Um, well, of course, my dad. And then uh, Dure, uh, Inlich Motorsports, Tom Fabrication, S&S Racing. Those are, like, the main ones. Excellent. Well, you know, you always got to give them a little love, you know what I mean? Because without them, you would be sitting at home doing homework. Mm-hmm. And when's your next <laughs> race, Alyssa? Yeah, when is your next race? Um, my next Paris race, I believe, is the 30th of this month. Okay. But I might go to, I might try out different tracks. Like last weekend, I went to Verona. So. Oh, you were there? Yeah, it was a struggle but uh, well, it was definitely really dry and i'm not used to that because uh, Paris is oh, yeah. not like that. you're right so yeah but wow. so we're I'll get it down sometime so, <laughs> so where are you based at where do you live i live in norco okay well if you ever come back down to paris i mean paris barona again and if you guys come down like on a thursday night uh, or you better, yeah, come down on a Friday night, spend the night in San Diego. I'll put your race car and your team on TV, that you, and then you can use that video clip to help raise money. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, you know, you don't, you know, you'll have to get up a little early, and I know that might be an <laughs> issue because you don't sound like an early morning person. Eh. I see. I could read you, and, I, and you're not even here. So, well, that's, that's awesome that, uh, you know, and, and everybody's accepted you in the racing community. Um, for the most part. Yeah. There's well, been drama, but yeah, well you quit beating them. <laughs> if you don't beat them, they won't get mad at you. <laughs> so Let's say in the street stocks, there's been no problems yet. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, what, good. What, what number, uh, what number is your car? 31. And what color? I think I remember. Uh, it's black with hot pink numbers, yeah. and then there's like yellow in it. Yeah, you did well. I was watching. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing you go around. And yeah, you said, did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you were doing good. Yep. Thank you. All right. So, hey, if people want to follow you on that lovely Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever, how, social how do, media, how do people find you? Um, on Facebook is where I mostly post about racing, and it's just Alyssa Smith, just my name. Okay. All right. And it's A L Y S S A. Yeah, A L Y S S A. I even wrote it down right. Yay. <laughs> Son of a gun. Yeah, because we were there at Barona last weekend. Well, she got there earlier than I did. I uh, got yeah, lost Dave, in the parking Dave lot. Dave got stuck. He was emceeing an event at yeah. the uh, San Diego County Fair. Yeah, Burn so Institute he, Demo Derby. There's a yeah, neck so snapper for you. I saw yeah. more racing than he did yeah, at Barona did. because he, yeah. he got there later. But All right. Yeah. So and, and and by the way we're we, you know we're always looking for people to call in so after your races if you want to give us a jingle uh, and let us know that you'd like to uh, call in you know good bad or indifferent we're more than happy to help you out and follow your career and 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 one of the things you know like I said if you plan to you know get 
better and better and better at this, one of the things you need to do is media and, and being able to take interviews and, and, and talk to different hosts like Michelle and I. And we have no problem helping you every way, shape, or form. Maybe, again, some weekend, maybe even get you down here if you're coming down just to get the in-studio experience with the old headphones on the whole nine yards. Thank you. Oh, uh, you'll love I'll it. I'll definitely look into it. Yeah, I know. I talked to Scott Delosio, and he said you had a face for radio, so I don't know what he was talking about. <laughs> See? Don't you think you have a face for radio? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, You know, it's funny. Even the young ones. When I say that to a woman, they get really upset with me. If I say it to a guy, if I say it to a guy, he goes, they laugh it they off. They go, hoo, 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 yeah. Hoo, hoo. yeah. Well, we're more sensitive about our. Yes, looks. you guys are sensitive. We are. Goodness gracious. We just are. All right, Alyssa. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. I know you got to go out and work on the race car, so get out there. Well, hopefully, she's out of school and she has more time to work on the race yeah. car. Yeah. Right? right? Yes. All right. So, okay, well, good. Well, thanks for calling in, Alyssa. It's always good to catch up with you. And Thank you for having me. All right. We'll talk to you down the road, kid. Bye. Thank you. S- stay away from the boys right here <laughs> on AM 1170. <laughs> the answer. Light them up. Light them up. Light them up. And by the way, we want to thank all the listeners that went to Barona Speedway uh, oh, last sure. weekend. Last weekend, it was huge. It was record number of attendance. We thank you very much for that. Yep. And uh, hopefully that we'll hit it again hard. It's uh, such a bargain. Five bucks for kids, 12 bucks for adults. I know. You know, and... Crazy. Parking is free. And they have junior racers, you know, for to inspire your kids every race day. They have junior racers. I think that's awesome. I think it is, too. Absolutely. And they have the young, I mean, yeah. you even got school teachers. Yeah, right. You got them school teachers out That's there. That's right. Doing her um, you know, grading papers in the front seat of her race car. And they just announced, you know, that they're doing these lightning sprint makeup races because they got rained out right. earlier. Um, so those are going to be on August 25th. And the second one is October 20th at Barona. Mm-hmm. Six and under free, by the way good time had by yeah, and all. you can barbecue yep. and you bring can your own tailgate and you beverages pop-up tents whatever they have plenty of room as long as it's self-contained you're good to go yeah all right well hey that was three hours of more fun than you could <laughs> ever imagine oh yes i enjoyed it i know Once you again. enjoyed it always and gun sports radio is in the wings we got a ton of people today and we're gonna have uh the Coronado Mayor, Richard Bailey, will be in studio. So it is going to be a really fun show. There'll be a lot of good information for you folks to gather. In, yeah. In the meantime, go to Racer Radio's page on Facebook and like us there. Same thing with uh, You Ought to Know. You Ought to Know has a page, too. All right. So we'll talk to you next week. AM 1170. The answer. Happy trails. Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network.